Welcome to This Is My Architecture New Zealand. I'm Andre and I'm here with Chris from Levin. G'day Andre. Can you tell me about um, Levin and about automated drone inspection? Yeah, Levin's a cloud consultancy business um, and we migrate our customers into the cloud um, and we also uh, come up with new ways of working that helps them facilitate that move to the cloud as well. Um, and the architecture that I'm going to talk to you about today allows one of our customers to run machine learning inference on tens of thousands of video frames. That's a lot of video frames and you're running it in parallel. In parallel, yeah. Um, why do you do that? What does it bring to the customer? Well, the problem that we're trying to solve is um, our customer was doing manual road inspections. So they were driving down a road, um, looking out the window, seeing a pothole, stopping um, and having to take a photo and, and save some metadata. Um, and it was taking them a really long time. And it was actually really dangerous because they had to stop um, often on the open road. Um, and what we did, uh, we measured how dangerous it was for them. So um, there was a 22% chance of a near miss, so that's almost having an accident, uh, doing it manually, and it was taking them around about 60 days, or 66 days, um, and we've fully automated this process using machine learning. Um, and we've got that 22% down to 7%, and we've also reduced the time it takes them from 66 days down to seven days. Well, it's great to see that you have been able to reduce the, uh, the time. It's absolutely amazing to see that you have been able to protect people. How do you do that? How does it work? Yeah, we mount an HD camera to the front of the, um, the inspection trucks and the engineers will drive their stretch of road and then upload their video to a web UI that we've created and um, deployed on AWS. Then the video is saved into an S3 bucket as our raw data and then we split out the, the video into, um, into frames. And so there's around about 65,000 frames per video that we upload. That's a lot of frames. How do you achieve the splitting? Yeah, well, we actually tried to roll our own frame splitting um, application and we found that it was, was quite slow compared to what, how fast we wanted to get the a response back to our engineers. And we also found that when we chucked multiple videos at it, it was, it was a bit challenging um, to have a scalable architecture. So it turns out that AWS actually has a service that does this for you. Um, AWS Elemental Media Convert. Um, so we just chuck video at Media Convert and this thing will split it into frames for us. Oh, I just love to say that there is a service that does exactly what you need. Um, but once you have these frames, what happens after that? Yeah, so we, we've trained a model with SageMaker and we package that model in a Lambda function. So for every single one of the frames that gets spat out of Media Convert, we execute a Lambda and we perform machine learning inference on each of those frames. That's a, that's a lot of lambdas running in parallel. And one thing I know about the machine learning libraries is that they can be quite large. Did you manage to fit everything into the lambda? Yeah, so that was a challenge. That was actually a real challenge. So um, you get 250 megabytes of expanded um, space in your lambda functions, but you can actually cheat. There's a temp directory which you can use, which we used. We used every single megabyte that we could. Um, unfortunately, the SageMaker model um, that we exported and packaged in our Lambda uses TensorFlow, and TensorFlow, the latest versions of that, um, you know, over a gigabyte. So um, we tried a, a whole bunch of, of different things, um, but as we were trying all of these things and failing, um, AWS released a new feature that enabled us to package our model, package our Python libraries, and package everything else that we needed inside the Lambda function in a Docker container um, with a 10 gigabyte limit instead of a, a 250. Megabyte limit. Amazing example where AWS have been listening to the customers and really come up with the feature that you needed. Um, yeah. Okay, so now we have the tens of thousands of Lambda running in parallel. Um, how does it then keep up downstream? Yeah, that was a challenge as well. Um, when you consider, you know, if you're running 65,000 concurrent Lambdas um, for a single video, you picture how much it is when you, you know, you chuck five or ten. Or, or more videos at it, we needed something that would scale from totally idle um, all the way up to a number that we probably couldn't even imagine. So um, the standard relational database services probably would struggle with that type of, of scale. So we picked DynamoDB uh, and every single one of these lambdas reads and writes metadata um, to the DynamoDB table. So now we have it stored in um, DynamoDB as well. Um, how do you make sure that you have the accurate um, data on that model and uh, then you deduplicate anything that comes up? 
Yeah, so um, that was a really challenging problem was how do we not return too many defects to our, our UI? If you picture a, a pothole coming towards you on a road, it's going to be on a whole heap of different frames uh, of the video. So we've got some really clever maths and, and really clever logic in here um, that will effectively look at um, previous frames and um, frames in the future or frames after the existing frame to then um, merge that defect into one to return it to the UI as a single defect. Um, so what we, we did to train uh, our model is we annotated 400,000 images with road defects. Um, and as you know, like that's one of the hardest parts of machine learning projects is to get enough data to make your model compete with what a human can do. Um, so after we got the, the 400,000 images annotated and our model trained, um, what we also do is any defects that come back to the UI, um, we actually ask the engineers to validate or reject them, um, and any that they reject, they actually get fed back into our automated training pipeline. So we've got a really nice positive feedback loop. Um, so every video that we process in this architecture actually helps to improve the model and speed it up too. It's amazing. Well, thank you for sharing how you can do the machine learning on large scale. And most importantly, thank you for making New Zealand roads safer. You're very welcome. And we couldn't have done it without AWS's fast iteration on, on features. You know, this was an absolute game changer for us. So thank you. Thank you for watching. This is My Architecture New Zealand.